Hello and welcome to a video documenting an epic journey, a tale, a legend about building a wooden shelf. And here we are. It only took me a month and a half and 50 hours of work to build one shelf. And you might be wondering, Kings, how on earth did it take you an entire month and a half and 50 hours to make one wooden shelf? Well, I'll tell you. Number one, I'm basically a beginner in woodworking. I've barely done anything. I don't know what I'm doing. And number two, I only have hand tools. Table saws, circular saws, none of them. So I had to do this whole thing with a pull saw. It's very hard to do woodworking with only hand tools. Something that would take 20 minutes ends up taking like two hours. A shelf you can make in one afternoon ends up taking a month and a half. So, sit back, relax, get in a comfortable chair, microwave some popcorn, and watch this epic documentary on why I spent a month and a half building a shelf just to appease my woodworking teacher. Now, the first 10 hours of this shelf project. It actually started in April 19th. Huh? And what, I, and I spent two hours on April 19th planning. That's all I did. I was just planning how to build the shelf, talking it over with my dad, asking him what he wants. He drew a quick sketch and we just planned on how exactly we're gonna make the shelf. So, that's two hours into the project. The next two and a half hours of this project were spent on April 21st, where me and my dad got the materials. And we had to go to two different stores. It was a very long trip and it took a lot of time to find the perfect materials that we wanted to use. But after we got the materials, then on April 23rd, I was able to spend a good two hours measuring them and also drawing the initial design and then at off camera fiddling around with it. I have quite a few pages of nuns. Since I'm building this shelf from scratch with my own schematics, I already have some schematics that I wrote down just so I know what I'm doing. The most important thing now is to measure all the material, find out how much of each material I have so that I know the limits of how much I can build. So currently we're at six and a half hours. Then on April 25th, I did some research. Essentially, I tried to figure out if this was possible. I just looked at other shells, shells that people have made woodworking, just to see how to make this prop possible. And then finally, April 29th, I spent three hours re-measuring the wood, redoing some math, and redesigning everything for the third time to make sure it all worked properly. So, I, while I, there's not much to show for the first 10 hours, I did most of the designing and preparation in these 10 hours over the course of only 10 days. So without further ado, let's get into the next 10 hours where stuff actually happens. The second 10 hours started on May 2nd when I spent 3 hours doing the first cuts for the shelf, followed up by my ninth, where I spent another three hours 
cutting, but also gluing. Because when I was three quarters of the way done cutting the wood for the shelf frame, I realized an amazing thing. And it was this. <clears throat> Update time. I have cut all of these square poles into their respective pieces that I need. There's only one problem. I only have three of these 11 inches. I need four of them. <laughs> so, I've collected the scraps. I have enough to make my own artificial 11 inch. So I'm gonna spend an unnecessary amount of time doing something fancy to make one 11 inch piece of wood. So I'll get back when I'm done wasting time. Progress, I have found the wood to create my artificial 11 inch piece of wood. Another update on the 11 inch piece of wood, this insanely clamped up, it's our little 11 inch piece of wood right in the center there, being held together so that it solidifies properly. On May 14th, I spent five hours cutting and sanding. So another day, another woodworking. This glorious contraption that is expertly built has been sitting overnight for most of today. And I think it's ready for our unboxing. So I'm gonna undo five clamps. And I've made it the Franken 11 inch piece of wood. And to wrap up those final 20, 10 hours, I made the first two cuts into the main shelf poles for the supports that hold the shelves up. And as you can see, that was the progress of the frame after 20 hours of work on this project. It's that time of night, evening, day, whatever again. This is the... This is the eighth, ninth day I'm working on this. And what have I done, you might ask? What amazing stuff have I done? I sanded some wood, and I put two things together. Only eight days, nine days, eight days. And only like 20 hours. <laughs> Okay, now we're getting into the hard stuff, because we are into hours 21 to 30. On May 16th, I spent two hours just cutting the pieces and cutting them more indents for the pieces of wood to go into. On May 26th, I spent five hours just cutting more of those indents. So, it's been the evening, and what did I do? This. I added two more pieces of wood making. Um, uh oh. I've made the ultimate E. I realized I have two friends. So I decided to ask them for their assistance in helping me with the manual labor. And I might be thinking, this is your woodworking project. How can you get other people to help you with it? Well,. I, I still was the designer. This is still my shelf. I just had people doing some of the manual labor to help me so that it would go faster. Because otherwise, I don't think I would have ever finished this project. And it's thanks to those two's help in the cutting. Because I still was doing all the drawing and the measuring. It kind of felt like a foreman. Plus, I was not I was still cutting stuff and doing things too. I, I wasn't just sitting back and relaxing. But thanks to the help of those two, that's how I finished the shelf. So you guys know why you were here. Mm, yep, not really. You just clear. You know why? Stock options. Oh, stock. Bitcoin. Yeah, more, more. Like, I think it was a bit of Ethereum trading, and some just more some. Of what? NFTs. I just, I just, I just found a, a website that said click here, and you get a free package of Bitcoin. That's why. 
monkey pox and MC. <laughs> Anyways, can you guys help me build a shelf? A shelf? Sure, what please. kind of shelf? Yeah. It's a shelf shelf that holds stuff. I'm a handy guy. I'm down. Shelf shelf. Okay. How okay, long does it take? I, I've worked with wood a couple times. I, I think we can do this. How long how long is it gonna take? Nine at least one time. So how many hours? At least doing? one day. You cannot time. I'm a pretty busy person, so you know I'm gonna need a little bit of a you know reward. Maybe I like know me to come and help shelf. I I agree. I I I agree. But uh, can we talk about you know? A pay- can we talk about like a. Like a pay- I'm glad you will help. I need to see you. Why? But- Welcome to the three trillionth update. As you can see, there's a lot of powder. We've begun. Cutting the actual pieces for the shelf. This one's not done. I've enlisted the help of some friends. Now I'm a poor man. Plus I'm doing even more designing. Plus doing stuff. I'm still doing my work. This. We've completed one piece of... This is the tenth day of working. And we're about one third of the way done with the frame. So yeah. And now, introducing Woodworking with Friends. (laughs) <laughs> Introducing my friend, who is helping me with manual labor, because I would not be able to finish this without his assistance. <laughs> <laughs> I would not be able to finish this without his assistance. He is mentally deranged. <laughs> but yeah, um, he's helping me with this. I am working on some stuff over here. I'm essentially the lead designer, the foreman, and the guy that has to deal with this dude. And this dude is actually a competent worker, and this dude just keeps cutting himself. (laughs) I'm still working, and I am doing all the drawing, all the measuring, and I'm doing cutting too. I just have extra... He's not paying us workers. (laughs) (laughs) That's another 4,000% interest. I've just finished cutting this out. You can see all that. Essentially, another one. So that the piece is going to look like this for each one of these grooves. Very good work. Anyways, let's go. Look at this dude. Look at this guy. He's that guy, pal. He's that guy. Another wood, another day. Right now, I'm working on this. Even more stuff. For the final pull. For the frame. Because we're still not done with that. Trying to cut this piece out right now using... The old handsaw. It's quite hard to be precise. Hopefully, I can touch it up and make it not suck. We've completed this. The incomplete frame was that. We're nearly done. Maybe. Hopefully. Honestly, at this point, I don't know if I'm ever going to be done. After a month, too much work. These two um, wonderful unpaid people helping cut and a lot of tape. We have gotten the frame assembled. And this is an example of the shelves. This is what the shelf will approximately look like when done. And with that done and the frame assembled using packing tape, 30 hours into the project, three fifths of the way done, I'm ending this first video. That's right. I'll be making the next 20 hours a separate video because boy oh boy is there a lot of video clips to work with for those 20 hours plus I've um how should I say this I've learned some editing skills so the next video is going to be a little bit more interesting than this one let's say however this is the end of part one